Hey, good morning guys. So we're still at uh, Corner Brooks Visitor Center and we actually stay two nights over here. These people were so friendly. Corner Brooks we stayed three nights. First night was at Walmart and two nights here at the Visitor Center. And the Visitor Center is a really cool setup, let me tell you. First, you have water. I showed you guys last time. Fresh water and dumping station right over there. And then, they even allow us to use some electricity. So very friendly people. Really did enjoy. We're probably going to come back here Sunday. But just drop the casita because there's a hike we want to do. But this morning we have time. Uh, we're going to start going towards uh, Gromorn. Grossmorn. I always have our time saying this one. But we're going to go camp at a campground over there for two nights. Uh, you know, charge your, your stuff take showers you know just relax at a campground with Wi-Fi so we could get all of our uploads done and uh, that's gonna be it for this morning price we have water and uh, electricity but it's it's a 15 amp but well, we don't need any more because we don't need to run the heater uh, but yeah this is, looks like a good spot we're gonna stay here two days do a little bit of work and explore so let's get the casita ready What our guided audio tour told us was that this rock was displaced by the glacier that created this valley and you could tell because lichens are growing on the surface of it because mantle rock does not have this kind of vegetation growing on it so that's how they know that this rock was displaced by the glacier. Pretty cool. plant that is tall, uh, five petaled, reddish, purplish, nodding, flowering head. You know what you're looking for. It's, it's the pitcher plant, the provincial flower of Newfoundland and Labrador. How appropriate that we have a carnivorous plant as our provincial flower. Pitcher plants, of course, typically found in bogs and fens um, and, and, and adapted to growing in nutrient poor areas. And of course, as we've learned here today, this tablelands is a nutrient poor area. Insects are attracted to the pitcher plant by the color of the plant. It is red, the color of seduction. But also by this chemical secretion that comes out of the leaves that says, come and join me for dinner.
just finished the Tablelands Trail and we did it with the audio app. So it's a self-guided tour app. So you just download the National Parks of Canada app. You could do that at the Discovery Centre because they have free Wi-Fi for you. So download it there, load it up. When you get here, you can turn your data off and just keep your GPS location on. And as you get to certain points in the park, it's going to make a flute sound. So you just click on it and you can either read or listen to information about the plant life and geology and history of this area. So the table lands are actually mantle rock and mantle rock lies under the crust of the earth. And it's pretty unique in this area because it's one of the only places in the world where it's protruded so much above the crust. That's because of the tectonic plates that forced it up above the crust of the earth. This was a once in a lifetime opportunity to see this mantle rock above the earth's crust. So if you get a chance, definitely come check it out. Definitely do the audio tour. The self-guided audio tour added a whole other dimension to this hike and we really enjoyed it. It's really easy, flat, four kilometers. It took us an hour and 40 minutes, but that's only because we were taking a lot of pictures and listening to the audio. You need a library cart? No. No? No. This is my library card right here. So many books, so little time. Is, a, is there any book calling you? Uh, not so far. Oh yes, this one. Guys, how cool is this? So, although I've never finished one of her books, I hear she's very funny, Janet Ivanovich. So, we'll give it a try. But, judging by how thick it is, I don't think it's gonna last very long. We're probably gonna end up leaving it at another free library somewhere along our route.